Hello, thanks for joining me. It's Thursday the 7th of November. So I did say I'm going to be doing a trilogy with these three cards and today is the third day that I'm going to be using them. The reason was we had lots of major, we had major arcana cards come out yesterday. We had one the day before that and I really felt that um, we needed to just work with the energy and build the energy up with these cards to get a very big message for all of us that's going to be quite life-changing. Um, so let's see what comes out now today. I'll be doing the spirit animals as normal tomorrow, so please do join me for that. If this is your first time here, please do like and subscribe to my channel as well. Okay. Right. Her. Talk about bring us down to earth with a bump. <laughs> The card that fell out was the Eight of Swords. Then we had the Two of Swords. We're back in our heads again. Oh, so close. <laughs> Go back and have a look, if you haven't already, at yesterday's message and the day before that, if you've got time. We are working on a, on a level that is very tuned into our Scorpio season. But... We are also human <laughs> and this is where our human traits can lead us. It's the same card basically, isn't it? Twice. They're both blindfolded. They're both tied up. They've both got these crows flapping around their heads here and here, not knowing what to do. This one feels restricted. This one has got this kind of not knowing what to turn, where to turn energy, but... This lady is the true picture here. She's looking in the mirror, okay? This is the true person. That's what she thinks she looks like. It's not true. This lady is not tied up. Yes, those crows have put things in her hair, but her arms are free to remove the blindfold and to bat away those crows. She's in an open space. She is not restricted. She can go any way she wants. I kind of hung my head and went, oh no, when I saw these cards, because I'm, I'm familiar with this world. You are too. We have these moments of clarity, these moments of insight, these moments that we know instinctively are going to change our lives. And then in comes this energy and this is our mind. Now, our mind doesn't like being pushed out of the comfort zone. And immediately after that sort of place that we normally are comes the fear zone. OK, that's when we've just moved outside of our comfort zone. We have absolutely no idea what is ahead for us. OK, so our mind wants to keep us safe. And our mind gives us a million reasons why we really shouldn't progress in that direction. And we're not good enough. And you know what? Let's let's stay here. Let's stay here when it's comfy. Come on, come back, come back. And um, it's like that overprotective parent that doesn't want you to go out because it's raining. <laughs> You're like, it's raining, take an umbrella. You know, it's it's that kind of feeling. It's that, and we've all got it. We all do this. You know when you've done it. You're probably doing it today. You're probably looking at this and thinking, yeah, I have just made a million excuses why I shouldn't make that phone call, send that email, um, speak to that person, apply for that job, put my house on the market, whatever it is. We all know that we immediately start procrastinating once we've had a real shift in energy. This Scorpio season is very much about getting to grips with what holds you back and sometimes I do say it's other people putting thoughts in our head but it's up to us whether we take those thoughts as truth or not yeah we are almost the co-creator of this situation if we're allowing others to put those thoughts in our head or allowing comments made from years gone by from our childhood or whatever to dictate the person that we are now, we have a choice of every thought that goes into our head. 
And if yesterday you had this amazing experience where you felt really, really tuned in, guided, spiritually led, you may have had an epiphany, an enlightenment moment, a, a real inspirational um, experience that you could sense was going to change your life in some way. Waking up and feeling this energy is normal to suddenly go, oh, that's scary. Maybe I was maybe I was just being silly. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But here's the thing. Beyond this is those things that we have dreamed of. The business person that we want to be, the, the, um, the recognition that we seek, the enlightenment, the inner peace that we crave. All of those things are within our reach, but we can't get there with this mindset. And what's interesting is they've come out together. We've got the eight and the two of swords. Eight and two makes ten. Ten for me is the completion of a cycle. We had the ten of wands on Monday. Okay, put down what doesn't serve you. Stop doing this to yourself because ultimately you are doing this to yourself. Have a look in the mirror. and Maybe don't criticise yourself when you do it. Don't suddenly go... Oh my God, how many grey hairs have I got on here? Like, you know, you might. <laughs> I don't start pulling your face apart and examining all the bits you hate about yourself and start immediately just bullying yourself into submission because you're just uh, just used to just pulling, picking yourself apart. You know, it's time to stop that. It is time to stop. Look in the mirror like this lady's done and compliment yourself imagine she wouldn't be looking at this would she if she'd be going you know what you are awesome look at the things you've accomplished look at all the obstacles you've gone out of your way to to get over to move through all those people criticizing you and you're still getting up giving it a go well done you that's the sorts of things we need to be saying in the mirror not tying ourselves up with reasons why we're not good enough or we can't get to where we want to be. So the trilogy of these cards that have been really quite life-changing and offering us a very light, beautiful energy as they did yesterday, that's very much in your hands as to whether or not you take that or you repeat a cycle and go back again. And as you know, that never ends well. <laughs> so let's, let's, you know, do our bit for karma now and break those karmic cycles and move on through them because that's what we're being offered at this, uh, at this point of our lives. Wow. Okay. So I'll be back again tomorrow with another reading for you. I look forward to seeing you then. Have a great day. Bye for now.